Hello and welcome to Nellie's Song, a show about the Nellie Berman School of Music, a community music school in Haverford, Pennsylvania. I'm your host, Stephanie Young, current associate director of the Nellie Berman School. The Nellie Berman School of Music is proud to offer a unique scholarship program for its music students, where students can audition on a biannual basis for partial scholarship towards their music study. These scholarships enable our students to study music seriously, with most scholarship students taking two hours of lessons each week. We expect all our scholarship students to commit to practicing at least one and a half to two hours a day, and are proud that our scholarship students are members of local orchestras, including the Philadelphia Youth Orchestra Program program and winners of local, national, and international competitions. Today, you'll be meeting one of our scholarship students, Alyssa Gavrilovich, who studies with Dr. Igor Resnyansky at our school. Alyssa is currently a middle schooler at Welsh Valley Middle School. She has received prizes in more than 20 local, national, and international piano competitions, including the Grand Prix at the 2019 Chicago International Music Competition. She also won the Eastern Sectional Round of the Music Teachers National Association Performance Competition, placing first out of all state-level winners from Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Massachusetts, Connecticut, Rhode Island, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Maryland, and will be performing and competing at MTNA's National Conference in Chicago in March. Alyssa has also been featured in the WWFM broadcasted series, Kids on Keys, and has performed live multiple times at the WRTI 90.1 FM studio. As one of our school's top scholarship students, Alyssa will also be performing at our school's big fundraising event of the year, our Celebration of the Arts Gala Concert at Westchester University on March 15th, with all proceeds going towards our 501c3 nonprofit scholarship fund. Alyssa. Welcome to Nellie's Song. We're so honored to have you as a guest today. Hey. Yeah, welcome. First time on TV, huh? Yeah. Okay, so how old are you? I'm 14 years old. And how old were you when you started piano? I started when I was six and a half. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. And did you start with Elena? Did you start at the Nellie Berman School of no, Music? No, actually, um, I started in Florida, but then I moved here when I was seven, so. Yeah. yeah. And then you came straight to the Nellie Berman School? Yeah. Oh, nice. All right, and on average, how many hours do you practice a day? Um, it depends on the day, but um, during the weekends, I practice more, definitely, and then after school, I practice, you know, less. That makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Um, what made you choose piano? Um, well, mom, shout out. Um, my mom, like, always thought it was, like, good to have some kind of music education. You know, I think it's something, like, special, so... I tried a lot of different instruments, but like music is like was something that like I'm sorry, not music, ill, like piano was something I was more drawn to. Uh huh. What did I didn't know that? What other instruments did you try? I tried violin. Oh. Um, I flute and cello, and then piano. Yeah. And piano stuck, huh? Yeah. Nice. Um, who would you consider your biggest musical influences? Like in classical music? Or? Sure, in classical music, really in any music. Yeah, honestly, you know, in, like in like other um, kinds of music, definitely Billie Eilish. Like I love her a lot. Okay. But in classical music, definitely Martha Argerich because she's like, um, she's just like a, such a great artist. But like on top of that, she's like a woman, and there's not a lot of like women in like the classical music like industry. So that's very cool. true. And yeah. you're kind of one of the up and coming women. No, stop. Yeah. No. no, no. <laughs> Do you also consider Igor to be one of your biggest influences? Yeah, yeah. Nice. What has Igor kind of taught you? Like, what would you say are some of the biggest things that he's taught you? Um, he just taught me, just taught me, like, life lessons. Like, you know, like, when people, like, teach you stuff about piano, but then, like, they just teach you life lessons along the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I feel that. Igor was actually my teacher when I was younger, too. Yeah. And there were so many times where he would just kind of slip in a little comment about, you know, when you practice like this and when you dedicate that much time to something, you can really apply that to all other yeah. aspects of your life. And I don't know if you found that to be true, yeah, but yeah. yeah, that's really great. Um, what would you, what would you say your biggest goals in music are? Um, well, as, a, as a musician, as a musician, a big, like the biggest goal is like definitely like um, finding a way to really like interact with the music. And when playing in front of other people, definitely like sending or con like conveying a message. Mm -hmm. I think that's the most important part. So, yeah, that's my goal. 
Yeah, I think it's a really great one. And I actually have heard that when you were younger, performance was something that you really had to warm up to. Yeah, like I cried, like, in, ooh, I cried. At your yeah. first performance? Yeah. What helped you to overcome that and become the performer that you are now? Um, definitely um, just like playing a lot. Um, it takes a lot of time. To, well, some people are naturally born with it and they're like, whatever. But like when you're not, it definitely takes a lot of practice to have that kind of courage to do it. Yeah, I would agree with that. And how did, did you have like a breakthrough moment when you were performing or did you just realize it got easier and easier with everyone? Yeah, like during a performance, like I was just like, damn, I could do this, definitely, no, no. It like takes a, takes a long time. After probably like two years, I still, honestly, I still feel like nervous, like today, like before I perform, cause you never know like what happens, but when you're in the moment, it's definitely different and I don't get nervous anymore. Yeah, that's amazing. I mean, I personally still get nervous. I once accompanied someone for an audition. I double timed his piece. Yes, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure you have never done that, but yeah, <laughs> adults still get nervous too. Yeah. What would you consider your biggest musical accomplishment? I mean, you've, you know, you've competed in Ambler, you've played with orchestras, you're going to Chicago in March. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, probably like orchestras. Mm -hmm. um, orchestras are like very different mm -hmm. than playing by yourself. So I would say like the biggest accomplishment is definitely playing with something like different like that. Mm -hmm. And what piece was your favorite that you performed with an orchestra? Definitely Gree. It's mm. so powerful, like, ooh, like. Are you looking forward to playing the second movement of the Gree concerto with ballerinas? <laughs> yeah, hopefully, like, they don't, like, fall when I, like, you know, play, like, because it's, like, I'm so bad, but, like, I just have, it's, I think it's harder to play with ballerinas, right, because you have to, like, see their feet and then, like, really time it, mm -hmm. but I think that's a good experience, because, like, in the future, maybe, I want to do that. Yeah, did you also find it hard to get your timing with the orchestra? Because like you said, it's such a different experience. Yeah, um, well you have to look at the conductor like a lot. Um, it's like, it's harder, because I think with the second piano, I feel like you have more control, because you know the instrument when you play the piano, like you know the other piano, but with like violins and cellos, it's definitely mm -hmm. harder to know which part is coming in, but that's just something that you have to get used to. That's definitely true, and I think also when you play with an accompanist, a piano accompanist, you tend to know the person. Yeah, like as you one almost person. tend to know what they're going to do. Yeah. When you're with an orchestra, there's you know yeah, thirty like some plus people musicians. That, like, hate you and I'm like yeah. Yeah, I mean, I once played with with um, Ambler, and we practiced ten times a flute section. Ten times. Yes, it was perfect. We get on stage, we instantly mess it up. Oh my god. You know? Yeah, I don't know if anything like that has ever happened to you, where you wished that the timing, you know, had been better or that you had rehearsed the section a bunch of times with the orchestra? Yeah, I always have instant regrets in my life. Yeah, that, well, no, actually, not with um, the orchestra, but with like an accompanist, mm -hmm. Accompani how do you say that? Accompanist? Acc accompanist, yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, definitely, there was like one part that like, I wish I, like, I would've gone over, because when we were practicing it, it wasn't, it didn't sound that bad. But when we were recording it, it definitely was like so slow, and I couldn't. It was just too slow, but I couldn't say anything because we were recording. So, right, instant regrets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You say too slow. I've d I've done it too fast. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah. Incredible. Um, so it sounds like you're pretty serious about music. Um, are you thinking about going into music as your profession? And if you're not, what's your dream profession? Um, prob. Probably music. I mean, music is like a really important part of my life. Mm -hmm. I, I don't think I could ever like let it go. So I would probably do something in that. I feel like if I was a doctor, I'd probably like kill like someone. So I, I sh probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> but you know, it's probably piano maybe. There you go. I mean, I will say that a lot of our students at the school, they pursue music really seriously, but then they end up doing something else. And yeah. so it's always very heartwarming to us when we have a student who thinks that they might actually pursue music. Yeah. Um, like, you know, I don't know if you know, but Chris Jung is applying yeah, for double degree. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, auditioning at Eastman today. He has a uh, Juilliard and Peabody Institute next week. And oh. yeah, it's just a whole different process wow. when you go through that. And just to hear that you're thinking of pursuing music is, you know, I'm sure your teachers are very happy about that. Yeah. I'm sure Igor is very excited. <laughs> Would you ever consider studying with Igor? Long term? Uh, pro prob probably. probably yeah. When you get like, it's hard to like find a teacher that you can like really like Connect work with. with. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that's probably, probably, yeah. That's great. 
Um, what would you say is the biggest thing that music has brought to your life? We've kind of skirted around it, but. Um, definitely, uh, ha like definitely happiness and comfort. Mm -hmm. um, there's so many things going on in the world, like we're not gonna talk about that, but there's so many things. So I feel like there's, at the end of the day, there's just something like so special about having somewhere to go to mm -hmm. and like kind of escaping that. I know it sounds generic, but like kind of escaping that and just playing something so like meaningful. So that has brought like a lot of happiness. I will say, I think that your performances also bring a lot of happiness to audience members. I mean, I've, I've listened to you play for years and years now, and after every concert, I feel like at least one person comes up and they say, that Alyssa Gabrilovich, and they have <laughs> a big one. smile on their face. Um, speaking of, we'd love for you guys to listen to Alyssa's talent now, and we'll be putting on a little clip for you guys. So Alyssa, now that we've listened to that, um, you are just an incredible competitor. We've talked about how you're comfortable with performances now. One of the competitions that you took part in was the Music Teachers National Association uh, competition. It's one of the biggest competitions for secondary school students in the United States. You know, students from all different instruments, all 50 states compete in it. How did it feel making it to the sectional round? De definitely amazing you know like because like when you think of like how like young you were when you started and like I, I remember I played this piece called hippopotamus in the river mm -hmm. like when I was like six and I couldn't even I couldn't figure out what the F was and I cried about it but like like now like like playing and like competing with all these like amazing like kids is definitely like mm -hmm. amazing did you get to hear the other competitors no. um, when you okay because yeah. it's by video right for the sectional round yeah yeah I okay hear it. Um, do you know what the format is going to be at the Nationals? Are you going to be performing live or? Oh, yeah, yeah. So it's in this hotel. Mm -hmm. I think a ballroom. It's a conference. Mm -hmm. And like um, 
I know, I don't know what like, the piano is, but it's like at a, it's just like a small environment. Mm -hmm. There's seven kids. Um, so yeah, it is live mm -hmm. and like anyone can come if they want to, like, yeah. And that's seven kids out of, you know, yeah. all the 50 that yeah. started out. That's incredible. Um, have you met some of the competitors before? Do you know if you're going to see some familiar faces there? No. Oh, okay. And you know what? They're all boys. Congratulations. <laughs> you know, you're talking about Mar Martha Argo right. earlier. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Is this your first time traveling for a competition or? Um, I don't know. Definitely not. Mm -hmm. Um, usually I go to like probably festivals mm -hmm. where I'm like most travel to. So it's not for the competition, but there are competitions in there. But I did go to. Is it, was it Missouri? Missouri? You went to Missouri. For wow. e-competition or like Mrs. I don't even know. Yeah, I think Missouri. E okay. Competition. Yeah. Minnesota maybe? Oh my God, yeah, Minnesota. <laughs> Duh, Missouri, so <laughs> Minnesota, Minnesota. <laughs> cool. Minnesota. And so was that a live audition out there too? Or like did you uh, get to hear other people mm -hmm, play in a performance yeah. setting? I don't really like to hear other people because it makes me feel bad about myself. Uh-huh. But, um, but it was live, yeah. That's so cool. Um, yeah, I mean... How, going off of that, how would you say you've benefited the most from being a member of um, our Nellie Berman Scholarship Program? Um, I think that's I think that's a big reason why I like have like gone like through like performing and like feel more comfortable now because the Nellie Berman School gives like you know performance classes mm -hmm. and um, like I like literally cried like when there was five people I literally cried when I was like seven, but now there's like yeah, I just like feel more comfortable because I went there like every week for like four four years. Oh, or, like, I five, know. Oh, my yeah. God, ew, I'm so old. Like five years. Ew. Okay, so but like I went there a lot, so it definitely helped build like some courage. I mean, it's really gratifying for the office to see, too, that your name is always on the board uh -huh. and that you actually come in with new pieces almost every single yeah. time. Do you enjoy the process of learning new pieces like that? Just constantly, you know, picking up new repertoire? No, 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 <laughs> no. Um, wait, oh, I mean, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah. No, but uh, learning pieces is really hard. In the end, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, like, amazing. Like, it's fun. Mm -hmm. But, um... Like, in the beginning, it's so hard, like, all the rhythms and, like, the dynamics and memori memorizing is so hard for me. Uh -huh. Whoever has photographic memory, like, just give me that, please, like, cut your brain or something, because that's so hard. This is so fascinating for me, because I had, you know, for me, it's really hard to learn a new piece. And so for you, I assumed it was easy. Oh, my God, no, no. But for you, do you have a way that you kind of approach a new piece? Yeah. Um, that helps you learn it faster, do you think? Or? Yeah, pro I think I make sections, like A, mm -hmm. B, C, D, and uh, then I split like sections, like one, two, three, and then um, I just go right hand, left hand, hands together. Sometimes like I think it, some sections are easier than others, so that's mm -hmm. easy to memorize. Right. And then like probably like in like a month, I memorize it. It should be like a week, but it's in a month. That's, uh, yeah, that's a very Igor technique. I remember him yeah. doing that, yeah. What has been your favorite performance venue that you've performed in? Um, ooh, okay, okay. Um, um, well, when I went to E competition, which mm -hmm. was in Minnesota, the, the hall was like really, I mean, it wasn't really like a performance, like it was like a competition performance. Right. But I, it was like so pretty, and I, that was probably my favorite, like the sound, like how big it was. But also in Kaufman, the, it was nice too. Like I really liked it. And that one's in New York, right? The mm -hmm. Kaufman one. Yeah. Where was that? Was that at the Lincoln Center or? I think yeah. I think it's the Lincoln Center. Oh, that's a great hall. Yeah. The acoustics are always a yeah. big thing. I performed in beautiful halls before, m made completely of wood. The echo was incredibly bad. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I, yeah. You think it'd be good? It was <laughs> awful. Yeah. Um, outside of music, do you have any other hobbies you'd like to share with us, Alyssa? Yes. Yes. I love singing. Oh. Um, I love eating, Ooh, love eating, and love sleeping. It's definitely something. Do you love music theory yet? Warming up to it? Oh my god. Yeah, definitely, definitely love it. It'll be useful one day. And with that, we're going to listen to a final clip of Alyssa playing.
Alyssa, thank you so much for joining us. And um, thank you to all of you for joining us as well. Uh, we hope that you enjoyed hearing about our scholarship program and meeting the impressive Alyssa Gabrilovich. You can hear her and many more of our incredible scholarship students perform at our fundraising events, end of year concerts, and other events throughout the year. If you are interested in attending any of our events, have a child who would like to audition for our scholarship program, or would like to donate to support our gifted young musicians, please send us an email at office at mbsmusic.com. Give us our office a call at 610-896-5105 or visit our website. Please tune in next time when we interview and listen to some of our dedicated, incredible music faculty. Until next time, stay musical. Thank you.